Right, so we've got some decent weather um, at the moment. Uh, so they've all just sort of come out and they're all wanting to have this, look at this now. Um, mad play. I think these are the safest pair of shoes I've got on because they can even put the teeth through my trainers at the minute. <laughs> Parker, why don't you go in if they're biting you, which I know they are. But it's good boy, thank you for telling them off, good boy. So, again, um, I'll be probably get sick of me pointing them out. Mustard, obviously red. Um, we have got blue, pink, orange. I'm just watching to see if any of them ventured into. Uh, Still not sure. No. Back out. Right. So Green decided to go and do a bit of um, uh, rock climbing or box climbing or whatever you want to call it. And it's good. These, like I said before, textures, heights, levels, everything else that goes with it, all great for pups. Mustard. He's just dragging all the clothes out of, or all the blankets out of the dog box. I can't believe I've got two dog boxes and now they all try and cram in one or they all try and cram in the other. Uh, but again, you see, we've got green there and green just, just, just backs off um, just that little bit. You know, a bit unsure. Play starts, do I really want to be that rough? But on a one to one, we'll happily play. But whether or if there's more of them there, then that's a bit a bit different. Ooh, ha ha ha. Um, I don't think there's any need for me to point red out or pink because we all know who they are. Um, other pink girl. Oranges up there with Parker. The boys just give them an occasional growl when they bite them and just teach them manners and more often than not, they'll back off. Right, well, that box was supposed to be playing uh, for you to play with, not to destroy, but bits of this is why I'd give up tidying up the garden, if I'm honest with you, because it'll end up like a, a war zone. So we'll go in there. But it's good that she's, the pups are good to watch now because they're figuring things out on, you know, which is the best way to try and obviously dismantle something. But also the teething. So, you know, you've, you've got to look at that um, as well. Your, yep, silver. They've worked that out incredibly quickly. When I said they wouldn't come out, I think the other pups out of the other litter were gone six weeks uh, when they were actually venturing through that fencing. Uh, Blue was through, I think, the second day. The first day, nobody was doing anything because of that terrified of being out. Um, so, but I think after that, after the first day, and, it, and it's good to see how quickly they adapt. Um, no one would believe that they could come on like that within a day, uh, but they do. And I could just sit here for hours and just watch them, watch what they're up to. But obviously, you know, I can't, oh, our Orange has found a, a way of taking the box apart. Uh, Blue's in there. Uh, pink started it, so it's got a bit damp, so. Green with a little butter wouldn't melt face. 
They've got the oh, or the pink one, dark pink and black, pink and black, pink and black. She's got a very feminine face as pink and black as well. Uh, oh, this is interesting. What's going on? Mustard's down here. Blue, uh, mustard, uh, silver and orange. That's it. She's in. Followed by blue. Interesting pink and blacks here now. I wondered how long. I didn't want to try and get them in there. I didn't want to try and cork some in there. I wanted them to go in there of their own volition. So they're in. Maybe all white pink has, has not realised that the is missing out on something. Okay, let you out. Green's given up on the box destroying. Mm, what's these two doing up in that far corner? Let's turn all the books upside down because if they collect any wall train, um, they obviously then getting soaked. Oh, back through, so, uh, purple. I'm 